lock on, right? Well, they'd had two really? hearing tests that were normal. And we'd started right. speech therapy, <laughs> neurosensory unit in Toowoomba. Rescheduled him for a third hearing test in the March. But we were beginning to think around January, February that something wasn't quite right. So we pretty much found out at that ABR that something was significantly wrong. At the age of four, um, he, he couldn't even say mum. So she asked me to step out of the room and she just said that there were signs that there was severe to profound hearing loss. We went to see the specialist that afternoon. And I was, I was at work and, and Cathy, uh, I had the phone call from Cathy and uh, obviously she was uh, in tears and very upset uh, with his news. So that's how I, I found out. Well, Cathy and I were going out for morning tea for my birthday. And she'd heard that morning. Me and Isaac like to play outside with each other. We like to play on our iPads and just do the usual stuff like brothers do. If he didn't have the cochlear, I wouldn't be able to do what big brothers, normal big brothers could do because I couldn't communicate with him. He'd always be down in Brisbane. Because we, my dad's a car enthusiast, I think he loves the fact that my car, my dad has a good car and he loves, you know, just mucking around with me and playing with the cars and talking about cars and reading car magazines. That's what he loves doing. I think the most memorable thing I've ever seen or done with him is when he first heard thunder and lightning and rain for the first time in his life. That was such a memorable moment. The joyous expression on his face, it was enough to make anyone cry. It was just, yeah, it was, it was awesome. Isaac's very passionate for a lot of, all of the stuff he does, like, he just loves everything he does. So he just loves cracking the whip, he loves going rock climbing. He basically just lives his life to the fullest, he loves everything he does. Hadn't been given a great deal of direction, as into what was available elsewhere. So it wasn't until we seen the specialist in Brisbane, Dr Parker, that he actually referred us to hear and say. And being out of town, being in Brisbane for just the one day, we actually called in on our way home without an appointment. Well, I was probably, A, really impressed that they took the time to see us there and then. Probably hope, I guess. That, that was probably one thing that, you know, yeah, you've got a problem. Uh, yes, he's deaf, but you know, we can help you. So they probably, the, like Ray said, the first people to really give us hope that this child would achieve, would be able to speak normally, would grow and be able to interact with his peers. Uh, Dolby South State School is situated in the town of Dolby on the Darling Downs, about an hour west of Toowoomba. Uh, we have approximately 800 students uh, who come from the catchment area of Dolby Town itself and some of the surrounding rural areas and even some students such as Isaac who come from Toowoomba. Uh, golden letters are something that our students receive uh, each semester if they've earned an A or a B on their report card for behaviour. Excellent achievement. So let's get started this morning. We're going to start with 5, 6, D. Isaac is one of a number of students at our school have, who have a diagnosis of a, of a hearing impairment. Uh, we've, we've actually, over the last few years, put a program into place where we've placed um, some uh, equipment known as sound field systems into our classroom. It's a, um, a system of speakers that are in the classroom and that actually amplifies the speech sounds for all of the students in the class. When you have people like Hear and Say help you, that lightens the load for you and allows you to be a mother and to love that child as normal, which is huge. Um, in some ways you do feel robbed, but to come to terms with that, yeah, it allows you to move forward and move on. Rather than getting stuck, and you know the outcome for Isaac is good now. Sure, there's limitations, but everybody has limitations and it's just the way you look at it. So yeah, it's opened up a whole new world for him. Bye. So I feel very proud as a parent to see what he has what he has achieved.